right, my next guest here to talk about artificial intelligence is the founder of Writer.com. May Habib, welcome to the show. Hi, Julia. How are you? I'm doing great. Look, AI, such a buzzword, and everybody thinks everybody else is doing it, everybody knows <laughs> it, but we don't really understand it, do we? Can you just narrow down the definition of AI for us as if I'm a five-year-old? Sure. Um, think of um, the first generation of computer intelligence as needing to uh, know a bunch of rules. So um, computer, I want you to do X and here's exactly how you do it. Um, artificial intelligence or really machine learning um, is instead of needing to program all of these rules um, uh, so that a computer can help you do your work, you actually teach it by giving it a ton of data. Um, and so in a nutshell, that's how I'd explain it to a five-year-old. <laughs> okay. Do you think every industry can benefit from AI? Are, are there areas that AI may backfire? Uh, thinking about that one, um, you know, I guess I may not want artificial intelligence in like one-on-one -on -one meditation retreats or something like <laughs> you that. You want that human interaction, <laughs> of course. Yeah. And how is your company using AI to help others? Cool. So Writer is simply a tool that corrects your writing. We use AI to do that. And uh, a big part of what we do beyond stylistic and grammar uh, improvements is making sure that people are writing in ways that are sensitive and promote healthy cultures. And uh, doing all those things absolutely would not be possible without um, without AI. Okay, I have to ask you then, uh, my producers here use Grammarly. <laughs> How is yours different from Grammarly? So um, we do a lot of things that are uh, above and beyond um, some of the foundational, you know, writing well um, that, um, uh, that Grammarly does. So uh, certainly match that functionality. Um, but for example, we've got a, um, uh, a part of the product called healthy communication uh, that companies love and bosses love. And it makes sure that people are very friendly to each other and aren't being passive aggressive, which is actually very easy to do, given that so much of our communication has gone to chat channels now. Yeah. Uh, some of those passive aggressive comments can just roll off the tongue. Uh, so uh, writer is uh, is uniquely qualified to help folks, um, you know, just be nice colleagues. Do you give people a free trial of any sort that our viewers can take a look? Absolutely. Um, there is a free trial and we are launching free, just free, free um, in a few weeks. So definitely check us out at writer.com. Okay. The last thing I, I really have to ask you this, uh, as I ask any founder who works with AI, is how do you avoid unintended biases. This oh, is an issue in AI because we're, when we program something, we don't think we are being swayed one way or the other. We try to be impartial, but th th there is something going on, right? Absolutely. Um, back to the data, right? So if um, you are uh, training your AI on data that is itself biased, then um, we've got a problem and the output can be nothing but biased. Uh, and we are software that is AI to track bias and um, uh, remove it. And so we absolutely had to think um, long and hard about every single um, data set that we incorporated in building our AI um, because we needed to make sure that um, that it wasn't biased and really th th there's no AI to do that yet. <laughs> it is us really taking a look at the data and um, removing things um, uh, and choosing from the outset sources um, that um, we thought were, were free of bias. Yeah, one last thing very, very quickly. Just give us a few examples. What words do you think are intrinsically biased that writer is looking to take out? So language is always evolving and English is one of the fastest evolving languages um, out there. Um, and so, you know, these, these words um, that we use all the time, um, alcoholic, elderly, homeless, um, 
uh, are, are insensitive. And um, being able to kind of bring awareness to that, I think, is um, a, a huge benefit of a tool like Writer or AI in, in general. Um, and here's, here's some of the reasons, right? So um, when you call somebody an addict or an alcoholic, um, you are putting their identity first, you are equating them with their identity. Um, the thing to remember in the trend now really is what's most respectful is people first. So um, a, a person with a substance abuse disorder, um, uh, a person with an alcohol abuse disorder uh, is much more appropriate. Now, these are words we use all the time. Um, the word elderly as well is one that really bothers me. Um, it's you know, the, the connotations are um, inability and sickness. Um, using a word like senior or older person is just much more neutral um, and not really associated with anything else. Um, a much better word to use than elderly, which I hear uh, a lot. <laughs> yeah. All right. May, thanks for being here. We'll check it out. Julia, thanks.